A new AIM study has raised concerns over the exposure to nitrogen dioxide. Now, this new study comes as Delhi's yearly toxic woes have returned. The study reveals that exposure to nitrogen, even for short durations, can increase the risk of hospitalizations. The AIM study is based on the data of 69,400 patients who were brought to the AIM's emergency department between June 2017 and February 2019. After factoring for whether the patients had these symptoms for less than two weeks and whether they were residents of Delhi for which pollution data was available, the data of 2,669 patients was compiled. In fact, joining me is SK Cabra, who explains the threat posed by exposure to nitrogen dioxide and the AIMS study. Mr. Cabra, I appreciate you taking the time out and joining us here on Mirror now. In fact, uh, you let me begin by asking you this to draw things into perspective for our viewers could you tell us the key findings of this report yeah before i tell the key findings this is a multi-site research study carried out from uh, july 2017 to uh, february 2019 in which we collected data of people children as well as adult attending our emergency services in four hospitals including AIMS and ITRD in uh, 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 this thing, TB hospital in uh, then uh, uh, Kalauti Saran Children Hospital in Connaught uh, Place and in North Delhi it is a BP Chase Institute. Our findings were that whenever there is an increase in the pollute, pollution and increase in the air quality index. There is a significant increase in number of children as well as adult attending our emergency services. which suggests that they are having a severe illness and which make them to attend emergency. There may be multiple people who are suffering from minor problem may not be coming to emergency. Now, as you pointed out, the study also found that the admissions were more among those suffering from other comorbidities rather than just respiratory illnesses. Um, in fact, if you could tell us what are the main symptoms that people need to be aware of? Yeah, uh, this was we were screening, our team was screening all the people attending emergencies, including child, child emergency as well as uh, adult emergencies and they were asking them whether they are having a respiratory problem, worsening of the respiratory problem or respiratory problem over last two weeks and they were staying in Delhi. So the symptoms which we recorded were mm. increase in the cough, nasal discharge, increase in respiratory difficulty, whistling sound and so on. And these were general public who were coming to emergency but as you are right that we observe that those who were having other comorbidity including some chronic respiratory problem including some cardiovascular heart disease they were suffering more because of the decompensation. Dr. Kabra, what are some safety measures uh, for those with comorbidities that can be taken? Okay. So one is that uh, pollution is affecting all sort of uh, people in community, children as well as adult as well as those who are healthy, those who are having some other underlying disease. So uh, we should be very clear that uh, though pollution in Delhi is throughout the year, it is not something that uh, it happens only during winters. It is only that it comes to the, it is highlighted by various media, newspapers, doctors as well as other people, they highlight. But it is throughout the year and we have observed that whenever there is an increase in the pollution, uh, there is a worsening of the air quality index, then there is an increase in the respiratory symptoms as well as having a worsening of underlying disease. So what precautions they can observe? One, I want to very, be very clear that it is not only in the winters, it is throughout year. So those who are having a 
uh, respiratory problems or cardiovascular heart disease or having some immune deficiency they should try to avoid going to areas where there is a more pollution and our study has pointed out and it is available on uh, 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 websites of various agencies that where are more pollution so they should try to avoid second thing is they should try to uh, if it cannot be avoided then go with some precautions including wear a mask preferably n 99 and 95 but that is not feasible then even a cloth mask may do the other important thing which people can uh, have a precautions and uh, protect themselves is to decrease the indoor environment indoor pollution and this is something like a, for a layman it is pollution inside the house and the major source is one is that someone is smoking at home someone is cooking food in the same room uh, where they are staying and the rooms where the food is being cooked the windows are closed so what precautions people can take one is avoid smoking at home avoid smoking as a whole and avoid smoking inside the house second is try to avoid burning of the biomass including coal or kerosene or other uh, fuel in the room where children and adults and other family members are staying if it cannot be done in that case they should keep their windows and rooms uh, gates open so that there is a cross ventilation Dr. Kabra, as you point that out for us, NO2 levels are controllable as the gaseous pollutant is released when fossil fuels like petrol and diesel are burnt and are linked mainly to traffic. But what would you say are the factors that drives the situation? Okay, as we are talking of air pollution, air pollution can be because of multiple factors which is compiled in a air quality index EQI. So one is these gases and common gases which may be create, creating a trouble include one is nitric oxide, another one is sulphur dioxide, third one is carbon monoxide, ozone and so on. Then particulate matter PM 2.5 and PM 10. So our study checked that whether individual factor is responsible for worsening of the symptoms. So all these pollutants were worsening the respiratory problems but individual factors are also contributing to it and as you rightly said nitric oxide is produced when your uh, fossil fuel is uh, burnt and in that case you can reduce it that is the uh, uh, policy makers uh, decision and planning that how individual pollution can be reduced one is this uh, uh, NO2, so that can be reduced by reducing the, one is vehicle, another one is uh, 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 diesel vehicles and others and burning of a fuel. And uh, this will be in certain time of the year and during that time our governments may use legal issues to control these. Similarly, the PM 2.5, PM 10 they can uh, they are produced by the various uh, 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 this thing fuel burning as well as industry and constructions and those can also be controlled by various uh, legal uh, uh, issues dr kabra as you draw things into perspective for us as well as far as the situation is concerned we of course have been talking about the worrying situation with the aqi with absolutely no solution in sight yet, which is extremely unfortunate. But Dr. Kabra, what is the need of the hour in your perspective to combat this issue? Yeah, I, I want to tell it very clearly that this pollution in Delhi as well as similar cities throughout India is increasing and it is creating a trouble, decreasing our life expectancy as well as increasing our uh, disease morbidity. And it is only thing is that it is throughout year. If you see how many days were of a good quality air quality in Delhi in last one year, it will be few days only or hardly any days. So we are highlighting this problem only during winter when it goes to bad to worse. So it is important 
that we have a, some program, some policy uh, uh, which gives the short term results as well as long term results. There is a need for that we highlight this problem of pollution that it happens throughout the year. It is creating a lot of trouble and it is uh, not something like a one time control program. It needs to we should have a long term planning how you can reduce it and that includes uh, that uh, not only we create a uh, uh, lot of uh, awareness about the pollution during winter months but also in the throughout year. So there is a need and one is every individual has their responsibility to reduce or not to contribute to the pollution. Say for an individual level, if I do not smoke, I uh, 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 take, uh, take care of uh, uh, this thing that I do not add pollution by using more vehicles. I do not burn uh, 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 this fuel which may add to the pollution. I can decrease the pollution by sending my children to the school by carpooling. At the governmental level or community level, government may increase the public transport. And on that note, so that Dr. Kabra, I appreciate you joining us on the show, drawing things into perspective for our viewers as well. Thank you very much. For the moment, we leave the conversation at that. We're shifting our focus to the other big news that we're tracking.